I mean, there's been times when I, when I think, how can someone like me be used or, or be successful? I mean, I spent half of my life in prison. And I, you know, prison was really, I hate to say it this way, it was really not that bad. <laughs> It was the dark moments that I remembered as a child that really haunted me and really did like a number. I mean, I mean, a kid needs to feel safe, right? Loved, cared for, not scared, not raped, not drowned, not beaten. These thoughts don't devastate me no more. I don't even think about it. I talk about it to show you a picture, but I know today where my success comes from. It doesn't matter what I am. It only matters who God is, because he is all I need. He is my Jehovah Ra, the Lord, my shepherd, my everything I shall not want. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces God out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six times failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Suente la suburba, cause we're about to go see Jesus. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Ron Strong. JC here, your host, powered by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you know what time it is, it is all in your name, all in your glory. I was the first born male in my family, in the Almanzas. The Almanza family uh, is a, there's a lot of women in my family. I grew up with close to 13 girl cousins. And I was at first the only male. I was gonna be Alfonso Almanza III, you know, my grandfather, my dad, and me. I was spoiled, spoiled rotten. Uh, <laughs> there's pictures of me walking around at two or three years old, still in diapers, drinking out of a bottle. I mean, I was, I was spoiled. I, my grandfather bought me everything. I was my grandfather's treasure. Like, he looked at me as, you know, the future, the future of Almanza. <laughs> he would buy me everything, lots of guns, lots of uh, Mexican machismo and, and, <laughs> and cold in our culture, you know? My life was turned upside down with my, when my mom ran to California chasing, chasing my dad. That he later, you know, you guys have heard the story, he later abandoned us in a hotel to pretty much fend for ourselves. My mom needed help, so she moved in with, you know, her brother, my uncle. The one that did all the really bad stuff to us. And it was like we got sold to slavery and sin. The molestation, the rapes, the trauma, the hurt. I was scared 99% of the time. I spent a lot of time outside by myself because it was only a matter of time before he would beat me, rape me, or molest me. Like it was just, it was something. All the bad seeds were, were put in the ground. And as I grew, I, I watered the bad seats and a monster 
was born. And yes, there was many, many times I feel like God stepped in and made me, protected me, took me out of places, even said to my heart, son, why are you living this way? Because I felt guilt throughout my life of the bad things I was doing and the things I was, the people I was hurting. I want you to read the story of Joseph in Genesis. Just like Joseph, I, I, I feel like there was times where God trusted me with big jobs where I could have changed my life and, and gotten my life together. When I first moved out here to Arizona without really having no job experience, I, I started working for a streetlight company. I started as a laborer digging digging holes 10 hours a day. My first day, my hands were, were covered in blood because of the shovel, not having gloves and being out in the sun. I, I got heat stroke so many times and all the little Mexican guys from Oaxaca, Guatemala, <laughs> they would all make fun of me. There was this big bad Chicano. <laughs> couldn't even stay out and work all day because they could see that, you know, I was always hungover. I was always high. I, something was always wrong. And something clicked in me those, those weeks. And, you know, God put a love in my heart to learn how to really do this, how to really do the inspections on the street lights, how to, what wire went in there, what kind of uh, photo cell what color, what, you know, inspections, all that stuff. And I became friends with all the inspectors, SRP, APS. Everybody knew me. Everybody wanted me on the job. I did really huge jobs. I did the Cardinal Stadium parking lot lights. I did Madison Jail, Jackson Street. I did a lot of work. Really made me feel, I guess you could say proud. But my life was still a mess. So it was only a matter of time before I would lose everything that was entrusted to me. Time out after time out, prison, rehab centers. I mean, doctors telling me that it was okay that I was uh, this messed up because I had PTSD, I had trauma, I had personality disorder, <laughs> I had schizophrenia. I mean, it was okay. It was okay to be doing all the bad stuff I was doing because I was sick. I was always taking the detours, always. I mean, good thing there's not a time limit <laughs> of us getting there because it took me close to 43 years. Joseph spent 17 years as a slave and then as a prisoner in Egypt. I spent 17 years in prison and then 40 years wandering the stark world. I feel like God allows us to take those detours in our lives. Sometimes they last longer than we originally planned. <laughs> I was always picking door B. I don't know why. I, I just, I did it all the time. Today I, I picked door G, God. God, 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 God first. God in the middle, God last. That's how I live my life. Development is more important than our arrival. The obstacles and obstructions in our life can lead us to real accomplishments if we really put God first. But they are necessary. Don't ever feel like, why did I go through all that? I feel like God allows detours in our lives because he cares more for our character than our comfort more for our purity than our productivity. Like we can't do good works to get up there. It's a gift. He cares about our destiny. This is why I cry all the time every day because I am so humbled with what he has done in my heart, in my life, and in my family, my work, everything. He's touched everything in my life. I love God. Remember, being patient through the bad times is gonna be key. Waiting means doing nothing, just waiting. 
Sometimes it takes time for growth to take place. Trust God in everything you do and everything. Most important, show patience in the good times. Those are the times you should be seeking Him the most. My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. This is Ron Strong Ministries. Don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, live savage, but most importantly, love and trust God. I'll catch you guys on the beat round.